Tell me about this place. What does it look like? I'm in a meadow. I'm in a meadow. There's long grass and it's just moving beautifully in patterns mm -hmm. um, with the breeze. And there's beautiful flowers everywhere and it's sunny, mm -hmm. but not hot. It's so comfortable. So as you look at this place, look all around you. What's around the meadow? There's no people. It's just grass and it's beautiful flowers and a really light rainbow in the sky, the blue sky mm -hmm. with a light rainbow. But if I look at the rainbow, I can make it go darker. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm controlling it. Mm -hmm. What else can you control in this place? Look around you. Um, I just made the flowers grow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I can control everything. Beautiful. I can make the grass grow. Whoa. I can make the flowers open and close. Mm-hmm. I can make him change colors. What else can you do? Pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. But there's nobody around me. So I'd like for you to focus on the observer of this, the one who is making the changes. Okay. Do you feel that you have a physical body in this place? I'm floating. I don't. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a spirit. All I right. don't think I have a body. Wonderful. Do you feel that you are a female or a male spirit? Do you have Ooh. a gender? What do you feel? I think I'm a female. Mm -hmm. I'm bright. I'm a bright. There's kind of a form. It's an energy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Does this energy have a color? It's all white. It's all white. Very good. It kind of sparkles. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, it has, it's, if I look deep in the light, there's a little bit of a form, but it's not a person. It's just a, I don't know what it is. It's just a shape that kind of changes and sparkles. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what else you do in this place. Okay. I can fly. <laughs> That's right. pretty cool. So let's see where you fly to. Okay. Whoa. I can go anywhere I want really fast. Um, I'm kind of afraid. I don't know whether where to go. Well, I can. Tra I'm traveling in the sky. So let's find out where you go to next. Okay. Allow yourself to go to the place that you need to go to. What do you see now? I'm in a forest. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not in the sky. I'm on the ground. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm just a white, bright white light. What do you do in the forest now? I'm with the trees, and I'm. There's something about the trees. Mm -hmm. So connected. So everything is connected with a root system. Mm-hmm. And the root system has an energy, and it pretty much controls everything. Tell me about that. It's really crazy. <laughs> so describe this root okay, system. Okay, so it's like intermingled long branches underground growing at all different levels and there's energy inside of the branches and that energy controls the soil anybody standing on the soil any form 
It's where we get everything from is the root system. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, very complex. Um, I don't feel like I'm the only entity. I don't know what I am. Mm -hmm. Inside the root system because it's beautiful energy everywhere. What do you feel it's from not this bad. energy? What do you feel from it? It's fabulous. It's it's mind blowing. It's pretty much like everything is connected from the roots. Mm -hmm. That's everything. That's where the life is. And I haven't found any bad parts. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And what is your role? I don't know. Let's find out. What do you do there? I'm just glad to be here. Mm -hmm. What do you feel I from it? I feel whole. I feel like I'm gonna... It feels so beautiful. I feel like I have to protect it. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty and people sometimes on the soil try to destroy it underneath what's going on. What happens when someone... We have to work really hard to restore it. It's mm -hmm. really... It's quite a task. So what but do it's you do? so beautiful underneath. If the people only knew what it looked like, they would never destroy it. Can you give me a picture of what it looks like? Well, it's not really what it looks like. It's how it feels. Mm -hmm. What it looks like is just a bunch of roots all connecting. They're brown. Mm-hmm. And they're like just massive. It's so huge. It's as far as you can see any direction. And they're beautiful. They're beautiful patterns. And you know, you don't, I know it's a root system, but I think most people wouldn't know that. You just know that you can't sever it. They're not severed. They're all connected. None of them are broken. What happens when you dig into the ground? Well, I'm inside the ground right now. I'm inside, I'm under the ground with all the roots. Mm -hmm. But it, it's the most beautiful feeling. It's like that's where you get your energy from or something. Mm -hmm. It's like if you touch it. Oh, man, I wish you could feel this. It's so beautiful. Thank you for letting me experience this. If you touch it, just everything is perfect. Everything goes away. But you have this awareness that the people that live above it are trying to destroy it, but they won't. They are destroying it a little, but they never will because the energy is so strong below. But I don't see anybody there, Alba. It's mm -hmm. just roots, and they're connected, and they're powerful, and some are, they're brown, but different shades, and mm -hmm. some of them are old, and some of them aren't old, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just powerful more than beautiful. It's mind-blowing mm -hmm. how many there are. Let's see how deep this root okay. system goes. Allow yourself now to go even deeper. Okay. I see water. Mm-hmm. Tell me about what that. What is that? There's rocks. There's water, but it's not a big body of water. It's like little, little puddles? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Does that make sense? 
You don't need to make sense of it. Okay. Just allow yourself to go into that root system. There's puddles of water in the water. Some of them are clean and some of them are dirty puddles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's see. I don't see the roots anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm below the roots, I think. So let's find out what's below the roots. Whoa. It's barren land. Mm -hmm. No sky. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's really strange. There's just nobody around, but there's energy. Definitely energy. There's definitely some s source of life. Is mm -hmm. The puddles are life. The puddles are life. Let's find out what those One puddles are. One told me to jump in. Jump in and let's find <laughs> out. Whoa. It's deep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's find out what these puddles are. I'm in the puddle and there's little bubbles everywhere. And that's cool. And they're white bubbles and it's clear and it seems really deep. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should go. Let's keep going. Uh, what does it feel like to be in it? This? I'm floating. I don't need air. Mm -hmm. I have air, which is really weird. I don't really know what I am. I'm still, I don't have a body. Mm -hmm. I'm still this. It's almost like a Tinkerbell or something mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. It's a woman with hair that's pulled back. Mm -hmm. She's young. I'm like Tinkerbell, but mm -hmm. like not a person. It's like a little Tinkerbell mm -hmm. that just is a fairy and I float <laughs> and I don't, it's so weird. What do you call I yourself? I don't see fish. Do you call yourself anything? No, mm -hmm. I don't think I have a name. I'm just this little I don't, <laughs> I don't have, I can do anything. I can float, I can fly, and I don't need, I can breathe underwater. Mm -hmm. Let's see where you go That's next. weird. Let's explore this. Part. Oh, okay. Now I'm coming up. Whoa, it's just telling me to keep going. I'm coming up, and now I'm in an ocean. There's no trees. I'm above the root system now. And I'm in this ocean. Whoa, and there's dolphins. Mm -hmm. And they're telling me to get on them. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking to me. What do they say? No, I'm not. What are they, they said I'm a well. Take a look. I'm a well. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh my gosh, I'm a well. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm in Maui. Mm -hmm. I'm so big. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I can jump. Mm hmm. See yourself jumping. I can make flips. I never could do that. Whoa. I'm a well. Oh, I'm with the dolphins and the other wells. What kind of connection do you have with the dolphins? Awesome. We exchange information. What do you talk about? Right now they're just telling me welcome home. Mm -hmm. It's about time, said that one. What is that? I don't know if that's a male or female. You have no knowledge of males or females. Mm -hmm. Everything is just playful. 
It's so fun. Whoa. What happens now? I'm just going really fast and I hear sounds. It's the other whales talking to me. What are they saying? They're saying that I live in Alaska and Hawaii because that's where whales go. Mm -hmm. And they're telling me I'm very powerful. They're telling me that I have to protect the... I have to be more involved in protecting the water and the roots. Let's find out. Ask him why. Okay, I'm telling him why. They're telling me I've always been with them. And that I know deep down. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out, but they keep trying to make me play instead. I'll play for a little while. <laughs> play for I'm a little while. I'm trying to figure it out, and they're like, jumping over me saying mm -hmm. stop just play <laughs> with them play with us and i'm playing and it feels so good i can't believe how high i can jump mm -hmm. and they're giving me messages but i don't really know exactly Tell all me. i know is the messages are filling me up with great energy mm -hmm. but it's through sounds and i don't really know what it says but my soul knows what it says. Well, let's find out what your okay. soul deciphers. It says, where is it? I just keep saying, welcome home. You were meant to do this journey. Mm -hmm. um, Ask them to give you that information and the yeah, message that I you know, understand. I want to know it. And they say, let's see. And they're just so happy I'm back. I can feel my heartbeat. I can feel this. It's just so weird. Like I'm just shaking. It's just this force inside of me. It's, oh gosh, it's so awesome. Describe it's it not me. telling me a message. It's just telling me or feel it. And it's just, it's above anything I ever felt. Oh, so I'd it's like for making you me shake. It's absorb just absorb that energy. Make yeah, it it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really bright, and it's just so powerful. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. it's a well. It can do anything. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't believe I'm a whale. So anytime you see a whale or a dolphin, oh, yeah. you'll be feeling connection it. for mm -hmm. sure. I always admired, but But now you'll feel the energy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's through my whole body. And I'm so big but effortless. Like I'm not it doesn't take any force to move. I'm so big, but I can float in the water mm -hmm. and I can jump in the sky and I can travel so fast and I'm being sent messages, but I don't know what they are, but they are making my v body vibrate. Mm -hmm. So let's stop and interpret those messages. Okay, now. I really want to. Mm -hmm. Go into saying. your state of knowing. Okay, what is that message? I don't get it. Whoa. Just know it the just message. It feels so great. Whoa. Allow the information to just bubble to the surface. Wow. It's telling me I have to go to Alaska. Mm hmm. And live. I don't know why. Let's find out. Why okay. do you need to go to Alaska? I don't know. It's telling me to go. I'm in Hawaii right now, but mm -hmm. it's saying just swim fast and mm -hmm. go to Alaska. 
Let's find that what's in Alaska. Okay. Allow yourself to be there now. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so cold. Mm-hmm. I can't. Oh, I don't want to be here. Mm-hmm. I can't jump. I can't get out of the... I'm in... I'm in frozen water. Back to the puddles again. Mm-hmm. What happened in that frozen water? I can't go to the surface. I'm moving, but it's harder. Mm -hmm. And those little puddles I saw earlier are everywhere, but there's, there's a surface, but I can't break through it. What happens when you can't break through the surface? I'm hitting my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's kind of hurting my head a little. Mm -hmm. It's kind of upsetting my neck. I'm in. I'm trapped. I really don't like this part. Mm -hmm. I'm trapped beneath the surface. Maybe I should go through the puddle. I don't it. really know what I should do because I don't really like where I am. Let's, <laughs> see. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm through the puddle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm that little fairy thing again. <laughs> so let's find out Whoa. what happened to the whale. Uh, the whale is gone. Now I'm in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's telling me not to go back to the whale. What happened to the whale? Well, I think the whale is frozen underneath the brown, mm -hmm. barren land. But right now, I'm in the sky, and I'm flying to the crescent-shaped moon. Whoa. It's, like, really bright. And something told me to forget about the whale. Mm-hmm. And go to the tip of the moon, so, to the very bottom of the moon. What? Let's, let's find out what's on the moon. It's so important. There's no people or anything. Oh, wow. Whoa. What do you see there? Oh, my gosh. It's an energy-filled source. It's not hot, and it's not cold. It's so bright. Oh, my God. There's little holes, though. What are these holes? I don't know. I'm on the very triangle tip of the bottom of the moon. Mm -hmm. It's shaped like a C, a letter C. Mm -hmm. And I'm at the very top of the bottom point of the sea and it's all white but there's a couple small quarter sized brown holes mm -hmm. What's and inside? there's bugs mm -hmm. what is that what does a bug look like it's a little brown thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a bug. What is it? Who told me it's not a bug? I don't know. It's cr crawling? What's it? Ask it what it is. I asked it. It says it's safe and I shouldn't be afraid. Mm -hmm. But I really don't like how it looks. What does it look like? It has legs mm -hmm. that are on the ground mm -hmm. and they also are legs that go up in the sky mm -hmm. whoa and that's how it sees mm -hmm. the ones okay that's really weird I don't like that how big is this book it's about the size of well there's all there's a whole bunch of them mm -hmm. Ooh. Some of them are small, some of them are big. The biggest one is about 
smaller than a dime. Mm-hmm. And the smallest one is the point of a pencil, a dot, a, just a little dot. But I can go inside of them somehow. I don't know how. Mm-hmm. And their legs on the ground is how they walk. And the legs in the sky are how they see, feel, mm-hmm. eat. That's how they eat. Mm-hmm. What do they eat? They're eating things on the moon. Mm-hmm. There's little cells. Mm-hmm. What are those? Oh, wow. That's really strange. What do they look like? They're like capillaries. Mm-hmm. I. It's like a cell or a capillary. So if it's a cell or a capillary, let's it's find out. white, see-through, mm-hmm. bubbly, a bub- little bubble, and there's sometimes there's bubbles inside the bubble, mm-hmm. and it's small. Whoa! So the capillary, it's a capillary, and if it touches another capillary. It gets bigger, and then the bug can't eat it. That's not a bug. I don't know what that is. It's like a bug. It's like a... I don't know what that is. So I'd like for you to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Let's find out where you actually are. I don't know. What that Let's is. find out if okay. you're really on the surface or you're somewhere else. Zoom out some more. Are you inside something or outside? I'm still on the tip of the moon. Mm-hmm. I'm on the very corner. I'm on the very tip. Huh. I just slid down it. Whoa. That's really weird. Okay. Where are you now? Fun. I'm just... It's all just playful. There's like... Don't try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Just have fun. Just fly and slide on the moon. You can slide on the moon. Mm Mm-hmm. You can just zoom out on the bugs or whatever those things are. So let's find out where you go to next. Let's find out to the place that's most significant. Okay. (laughs) Right now I'm just flying. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Past a rainbow. That was cool. (laughs) Whoa, I'm going really fast. Going toward a big white light. It's really bright. Huh, now there's somebody else with me. All right, let's find out. Cool, who finally, a who person. Is, who is nope, it? it's not a person. It's another Tinkerbell thing. Mm-hmm. It's like an angel or something. It's like a really small angel. Ask them. I'm going to tell them, why are you here? Hi. <laughs> I'm telling them. Not really. They're just giving me a message inside, but not telepathically. Mm-hmm. So, it's not like a words. It's just like a feeling. So it's what is so this feeling? pretty. It's like no stress, for one. Mm-hmm. No anxiety. Oh, what? So they just told me that the capillaries... Mm-hmm from the moon are inside of me Mm -hmm. and that's the bubbly feeling that I have Mm -hmm. and it's bubbling in me they say yeah that's how you eat what Mm -hmm. the bubbly feeling is how we eat that's our energy Mm mm-hmm you transfer the capillaries to people? Wait a minute. This is weird. Okay, so they're telling me the capillaries. Those are cells and capillaries. That doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. They're basically saying that we're little angels, little 
Tinkerbells, we don't have names. We look like Tinkerbells, mm -hmm. but they say it's more of an angel. And we transport, huh, they say it's the best job. We transport the capillaries and cells to not just people, to everything. Everything that's suffering. And the goal is for the capillaries, the good capillaries and cells to touch each other and expand, but sometimes bad capillaries and cells already exist in the roots and the people and the animals and everything that we're transporting and sometimes the bad winds, we can't work hard enough. But sometimes it doesn't. That's so weird. They say we, we have a very important job. Transport. I don't really know how we're carrying them, though. Let's find out. Allow yourself to know. Okay. They attach to us. Mm -hmm. We don't... We aren't carrying them. We don't have arms. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're just this white light that is has jagged edges. Mm -hmm. And we can fly really fast. And we go to the moon, and the tip of the moon is the best. The bottom tip of the moon is the best. For what purpose? It has the best cells and capillaries that we have to bring to the other forms that need them. Mm -hmm. The other part of the moon has them too, but the bottom is the best. We've been assigned to the bottom. That's our station. Mm -hmm. We can't, they're telling me we don't go to the top and we don't go to the middle, only the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that we're lucky we're at the bottom. What's on the top? I don't know. I can see it, but they won't let me experience it. Mm -hmm. They're saying no. Who are they that are guiding you at this time? They're all these little lights that look like me. Mm -hmm. They're like... They're like... A, one bright light in the middle with jagged edges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really hard to explain. Mm -hmm. And we're all about the same size. We're like the size of a fist, a person's fist, a small woman's fist, a woman with small hands, that size of a fist. We're small. Whoa. Does anybody see you? They just told me we can make ourselves invisible. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, hold everything. No, there's no humans anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what we're transporting these things to. Let's find out. Okay. They say... They say when we're invisible, we lose power. And it's best to be visible so that other... Whatever we are can find us. Mm -hmm. They say don't go invisible. They mm -hmm. said don't do that again. I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> so when you are not invisible, what do you look like? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. See yourself. All I see. When I'm not invisible, I don't feel the energy inside. Now I'm visible, and now my... I can feel the vibration. There's a vibration. Mm -hmm. And it's inside of whatever this is, whatever I am. Mm -hmm. What shape and do you have? It's almost like a star. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, it's not a star though, It does. It's but it has points and jagged marks and a bright center. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's not really a shape. Mm -hmm. It's like a dot with 
lines coming straight out of it at all angles mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like a star burst yes. not a star but a star burst like almost like a firecracker a fireworks mm -hmm. like that and your energy is the middle and that's what's white and bright and then all those other Things are, I don't know what they really are. They're kind of like the bugs. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene now. And now okay. let's go to the place where you know the reason why you yeah. chose that life. I don't know why. Let's be there now. Okay. Let's see. I'm at a stream. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a human. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I'm a little girl. A little girl. Madely? Mat Mat Madely? Mm -hmm. That's a weird name. Madely? Mm -hmm. Madely, not Natalie and not Madeline. Mm -hmm. Madely. Madely. How old are you, Madely? Madely, with a T, not a D. Mm -hmm. I'm like five. Where are you? Look around you. I'm sad. Why am I sad? I'm at a stream. I'm all alone. Mm -hmm. My parents. Who are your parents, Madeline? They died. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. So, Madeline, let's find out where you live. I'd like for you now to see yourself in the place where you live. Ugh. Oh. It's not very nice. Describe this place for me. There's no bed. No fridge. It's like I sleep on the ground. Mm-hmm. There's no blankets. What? I don't even... There's no belongings. There's no TV. It's like dirt. Mm-hmm. Is and it a dirt floor? Yeah. Look around you. What is this place? It's yucky. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. It's really not comfortable. It's like something my dad built. Mm-hmm. It's not a real house. There's no windows or there's no front door or anything. You just... How do you get inside? It's just gross. Um, well, you're outside. It's just a structure over it. I would not even call it a home. Mm -hmm. But it's where I live. It's really bad. I wish I didn't live there. So, Natalie, I'm... let's find out a little bit about your life. How you came to be in this place. Okay. Go back in time now. To when you lived with your mother and father. Be there now. Yep. What do you see? My dad is thin, brown hair, dirty clothes. He works really hard. Mm -hmm. What does your father do? Um, he works with his hands. He doesn't. I don't really see people having jobs. Mm -hmm. It's way, way long ago. It's way in the past. It's not like it is now. Mm -hmm. Tell me my more. Mom. My mom is so sad, though. What's happening Bye. with your mom? She's not happy. Let's find out why your mom is not happy. She doesn't like my dad for some reason. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. It's just me. There's no other kids. Why doesn't my mom? Connect with your mom. Trying to talk to her. She's shutting me out. Mm -hmm. she, she says she loves me, but... He's telling me to go away. I think my dad might, I don't know if he hits her or something. 
It's a really bad feeling. Mm-hmm. I think he did something bad to her. I'm not sure why. Let's find out what happens. I'm trying to find out. Said he tried to kill her. Mm-hmm. Why though? She's just showing me some scenes or something. What? What do you see? She said. That's weird. She said he kidnapped her. Ugh. Oh gosh. She said he kidnapped her and she got pregnant with me. Mm-hmm. She never wanted me. He made her have me. Ugh. And now what? what and now say? she's miserable. She doesn't really... She loves me, but she doesn't connect with me because it reminds her of him. Mm-hmm. Oh, Take a look at your mom's eyes, the eyes of the window so to the soul. Sad. Do you know this soul from the lifetime? Yeah, it's my mom. But I didn't realize it. She's really sad. Now take a look at your father's eyes. See? He loves me so much. Look at his soul. He's got a good it? soul. Mm-hmm. I don't know why he kidnapped my mom, though. Do you recognize that soul? In the lifetime of Tracy. Not right now, no. Mm-hmm. But I think it is my mom, but I don't think that's my dad. Mm-hmm. That's my, I think that might, that might be my mom now. That's weird. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens. I'd like for you to advance that scene and see what happens to your parents. Okay. Let's see. What happens next? It's not letting me. It's I'm feeling it, but I'm not seeing it. Mm-hmm. So you may not be there. Just know what happened. It's tragedy. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look. It doesn't. It's not that it doesn't look good because I can't see it. Mm-hmm. But it really doesn't feel good. It feels like. They had their head cut off or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So what do you do next? Ugh, get away. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving. I don't really know what that was. I need light again. All right. So I'd like okay. for you to close that scene. Yeah. And now go to another okay. place in another time in that same lifetime okay. when something is happening, something important is happening. Ah, I'm back on the moon. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm right on that tip again. Mm -hmm. And as you look back at that lifetime, as Madeline. Madeline, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little girl. Why did you choose that lifetime? Let's see. I think I was trying to... I was there to teach my mom to be loved, but she never would listen. Mm -hmm. She never really felt real love before. I was there to teach her. What it felt like to be loved, but she said no. She shut me out for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I was too much like my dad. She didn't want it. Mm-hmm. And what happened to you in that lifetime? Did you choose? I see myself being alone. I think my parents were... I think that they were killed or something. Mm-hmm. And I had to sleep by myself and 
catch food in the puddles. Mm -hmm. I did it all by myself. There wasn't anybody around. How long did you live in that lifetime? I don't see an adult. Mm -hmm. Did you choose to I leave? Think I early? left, oh, yeah. Right. So let's close that scene, leave that okay. lifetime behind, and now let's go oh. to any other significant lifetime that has a message. Okay. Oh. Where are you? Right now. I seem to like to float a lot. Mm -hmm. Where are you floating to? I don't know if I'm in the sky or the water. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. Seems to be a lot. Nobody around again. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Feels natural and normal right now. Kind of going, oh yeah, okay. Now I got spirits. Now I got the little things around me. The little Tinkerbell things are all around me now. Mm -hmm. They're telling me to come. Okay, we're floating. Let's see where you where go we to. Where go to? The red? We went inside the red color on the rainbow for what? Mm -hmm. What? Let's find out what's in the red. That's where we live? Mm -hmm. And what is the red? Signify. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, love. Mm -hmm. They said it's love. It floats. It's floating. And it's different shades of red. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, different shades of red? Well, I'm trying to figure that out out. You can't, I know there's other colors in the rainbow, but they say don't go to the other colors. Why is that? We're assigned to red. Mm -hmm. But my favorite color is yellow, I'm telling them. They said no, stay in the red. I can't see the other colors, but I know the other colors are there, and I know I'm living in the red mm -hmm. part of the rainbow. And it's Warm. Trying to figure out what the different shades are because there's light red, there's splotches, and within the splotches, different colors of red. I don't, they said that's not important. I don't. I'm trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So now that you're in the place where you live. It's really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Who else is there with you? There's like six people, six, not people, six things, mm -hmm. six lights, six Tinkerbell things. And who are they to you? I don't know. Let's find out. I think they're my family. Mm -hmm. They say we're all together. They're above friends. I think they're my family. So what message do they have for you? I'm trying to see. They said I need to have more fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I need to be more playful. And I need to stop working so hard. Mm -hmm. And I need to stop worrying about everything because all I have to do is touch red things? Mm -hmm. What? I have to surround myself with red. They say if I surround myself with red, it will help me. Red color? Anything that looks or feels or tastes? What tastes mm -hmm. red? Mm -hmm. They said any of the senses. If it sounds red, looks red, feels red, tastes red, that's what I need to do to ground myself. Mm -hmm. And what will the red 
do for you? It will bring me back home and make me not worry. It's a magical power. Mm -hmm. It's a magical power that I have. So even the intention of red will bring you back? I'm trying to see. Let's find out if it's something that you need to surround yourself with. I just have to think red, uh -huh. they said. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to, whoa. If I just imagine the red right now that I'm seeing, it just fixes everything. Whoa. That's cool. So this vibration of red, is this a healing for Tracy? Yep. Mm -hmm. And other people too. Mm -hmm. Not everybody though. They said it, people are assigned a color. Mm -hmm. So You're green. Mm. <laughs> they want you to know that. That I'm green. Yeah, you're green. I told them I wanted to be yellow, and they said no. Red. So what do these different colors do for you? Well, that's why we have them. Mm -hmm. But most people don't realize what their color is. And they buy things that are multicolored, and they don't get enough of just their color. Mm -hmm. And the color grounds you. Interesting. It's very interesting because I would never choose red. So if she wanted to ground herself when she sleeps, she could choose perhaps a red pillow? Yeah, they said I can just think of red mm. and it'll work. And you can just think of green, they said. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of green Whoa. around. Yeah, I know, and there's not very much red, but I know what red looks like. They're showing me all the different, this red rainbow, the where we live, where we get our energy from. They're showing me that all the different realms of red that I never even knew existed. It's so many shades. Mm -hmm. And they're saying all I have to, they're like telling me that the red has a certain energy and they're trying for me to download that. Download it? Let's go ahead and begin to download I'm now. Downloading the red energy Let's for do that. some reason. And they say once that's downloaded, I'm protected. Wonderful. So let's begin yeah. the download now, please. Okay. That's cool. Whoa. And that just made me... I was squeezing what's ever in my hand. Mm -hmm. And that just made me loosen it. Mm -hmm. I'm, everything's good. Wonderful. <laughs> That's a good trick. I hope I remember that part when I wake up. So That's Tracy, a good one. Tracy has other questions that she <laughs> wanted to know about. Yeah. For example, what other intuitive gifts does she have or psychic gifts? Oh, let's see. Well, the red is going to be the new one. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So when she's with someone and she thinks of red, how can that help her? It can pull me out of any stressful situation. Mm hmm and it can fill me back up mm -hmm. if I'm depleted. Whoa. They just told me that now I can see what other people's colors are. Mm -hmm. Is this a new gift? Yeah. And I can tell people what their colors are, but if they believe it, then that can help them. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. So is this a new way for her to heal others? To help yeah. them heal themselves with color? Now I see my whole family, but they're not my family. They're colors. Mm. And none of them are red. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I want to find somebody red. Let's see. Just my little Tinkerbell friends are red. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody in my life that's... There's so many shades. Is that why it's, she likes color so much? Yeah, and but I got it all messed... I got it all mixed up. I've been searching for... Her. There's so many different shades, even of orange. There's like hundreds, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter what shade you choose. 
as long as it's orange if it's orange, but you can't mix in other colors. And that's why people don't get protected. They mix in the other colors. Mm -hmm. They buy things that are the other colors. They surround themselves with things that are other colors than the color they're meant to have for protection. That's cool. Oh, I'll use that for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just shocked that I'm red. Okay, that's so she, neat. So she wants to know a little bit about her angels. And you have shown her that she is part of this family of yeah. Tinkerbells. Yeah. Is that a form of, of, of an angel or a fairy? What is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a, she is an angel too. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her There's about that? There's lots of angels. Well... Let's see. She wants to know which one of these angels and, and f or fairies are full time, part time. She knows. Mm -hmm. Well, I know she wants. She to definitely it. has her grandma around her. Mm -hmm. She asked her grandmother when her grandmother died to be with her, and her grandmother is always with her. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Who else is with her? There's people that she doesn't know, though, that mm -hmm. are with her. I don't see Patty, though. Are these yeah. spirit guides or are they There's, angels? I think, well, I don't know. Let's find out. Spirit guides. Spirit guides. Yep. Mm -hmm. How many spirit guides does she have? Four plus... Her grandmother is the angel mm -hmm. that tells all the spirit guides what she's allowed to handle. Huh? Mm. <laughs> That's nice. So and she's the lead? The grandma's the lead, yep. Mm -hmm. She's a good leader. And then there's four. There's more than four, but four main spirit guides. Do they have names? Well, Marsha? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Marsha's one. Um, she works the closest with my grandma. Mm -hmm. What is her role? Her role is... What is her role? Let me ask. Marsha. Well, she says... She's talking to me now. She says, my grandma is my ultimate protector. But Marsha warns, tries to warn me if there's somebody that I shouldn't be talking to or be hanging out with. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Okay. She's there to give me certain feelings about people mm -hmm. so that I can protect myself but ultimately if I don't listen to her my grandma steps in mm -hmm. that's nice what about the other ones um let's see I don't see their name what do they do I don't they help me with what distinguishing between right and wrong. They say it all comes down to your feelings. Mm -hmm. If it feels good, I already know. Go with it. If it doesn't feel good, go away from it. And what happens if she does go towards something that feels not too good? Then my grandmother has to step in. Okay. But sometimes I don't listen, I guess. Mm hmm <laughs> Sometimes I don't listen and I have to listen more. Mm hmm Do they work with her service dog, D.O.G.? Oh, that's a good question. Mm hmm Let's see. Nope, he's separate. Mm hmm How does he work with her? Uh -huh. He loves her so much. She loves him so much. Mm -hmm. 
He's getting old, though. Let's find out. Yeah. What the OG is meant to do for her. Well, she's pretty attached to him, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. So she's a little concerned about him passing yeah. on. He's going to. But he's always going to be with her. Mm-hmm. He's never going to leave her. She doesn't need to be worried. Mm-hmm. He's going to go to the light. Mm-hmm. And he's always going to protect her and be around her. So who's going to be there to warn her of seizures? She's going to get a new dog named Dexter. Dexter. Mm-hmm. The OG is going to send Dexter to her. Mm-hmm. And he's a big dog, not a small dog. And she's going to fight it. She doesn't want a new dog. But she's going to have seizures again. Pretty bad after DOG's gone. Mm-hmm. She has to get a new dog. Her doctor is going to help her. Dr. Demers mm-hmm. will help her with Dexter. What is the reason that Tracy chose this lifetime to be with seizures? The seizures allowed her to go to Maui. Mm-hmm. It did. She doesn't understand that part, really. But if she didn't get into the car accident, then she would still be in Alaska teaching. And she was meant to be in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And a car accident had to happen. And she's doing very good. Well, now we know that the car accident happened. And she's getting seizures from the after effects of it. Yeah. Why does she need to continue with the seizures? Why does her body need to keep giving her that? Let's find out what the purpose of the seizures are. Yeah. Because everything can be rearranged. Yeah. Oh. The seizures are her warning. Mm -hmm. It's like a red light. What do they warn her? Uh, Red. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, but red's supposed to be good. I don't get it. Oh, at the beginning, you asked me red or black. Mm -hmm. I've always known it was red. Red is not stop. That's good. The seizures are like a red light. They're supposed to be a wake-up call to her but she's not really changing things and so she's having the seizures and the seizures are automatically taking away some of her memory when she has them Mm -hmm. because she's not listening she needs to listen what is she not listening to She needs to stop working so hard. Mm -hmm. She has plenty of money. She doesn't need money. She's working so she has more money, but she doesn't need it. She's surrounded with wealth. She's not ever going to need So It's not a need, but she thinks it is. It's not. So what would you like her to stop doing? I want her to... She needs to... She needs to cut back on her work. She needs to start having more fun now so that when DOG is gone, she knows how to have fun and she doesn't go into a deep depression. Mm -hmm. She needs to not worry and not take on other people's worries because it's making it harder for her to get the stuff done that she needs to get done. Mm -hmm. But this little fairy yes, always took other people's problems, all these capillaries. Yeah. This is not her job anymore, is it? No, it's not. That was in the past. Mm -hmm. But she keeps taking that. 
She has to stop. Mm-hmm. What will happen if she doesn't stop taking on other people's problems? Then she's never going to be truly happy. She's always going to be, she can't live her true life because she's too infiltrated, really, mm-hmm. with everybody else in it prevents her from doing her stuff and she has a very important mission what is her mission here she wants to know what the purpose yeah, is yeah i'm trying to see oh her mission is love mm-hmm. <laughs> nice yeah just like with her mom mm-hmm. her mission is to show everybody how to love, oh, two parts. Not only how to love, but how to be loved. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's a great mission. But she can't be doing that, showing people, if she's taking all of their burdens and putting yes, them into herself. Yes, exactly, exactly. And she learned that from you today. Mm-hmm. And now she has read that is her protector that she can think about when she feels other people's emotions attached to her, that red will help. Mm -hmm. Well, one of her questions was that she wanted to know what steps she should take to be more more happier, add more joy to her life. What would you recommend for her? You said to have fun, but for her, what is fun? Yeah, she needs to figure that part out. Because for her, spending time with the OG is fun. Yeah, I know. She doesn't have any hobbies because all she does is work. Mm -hmm. Um, What would be a good fit for her? This whale. I think she, yeah, she is a whale. She should get in the ocean more. She's in Maui. She's in Maui for a reason. Mm -hmm. And she definitely needs to enjoy herself more. And be more in nature and more connected to trees. Mm-hmm. And so that she can be filled up besides the color of red. Mm-hmm. It will fill her up as well on a deeper level, a higher level than the red. And talking about trees, why did you show her that root system? All forms of life are controlled by the root system. Mm-hmm. Everything, every bug, every person, every vehicle, everything is the root system. She knows this. Her father told her this. Mm-hmm. He's Indian. Mm-hmm. And he told her to touch the trees. If she ever has bad, really big problems to touch the trees. And you too, Alba. Mm -hmm. You can talk to the trees and they are connected through the root system and they can change things and make things happen the way they need to happen because it's all part of the root system. Very good. And what was the reason you showed her the life of the whale? Because that's her playful. That's what she needs to be more like. Mm -hmm. And she... She is a whale, Mm -hmm. and she needs to remember that. She needs to remember that's where she came from. Mm -hmm. Was that whale on this planet, or was it on a different planet? This planet. Mm -hmm. So she's been here before. Yes. Yes. What What are the connections does she have with Hawaii? She was asking about her home, her property in Kula. Oh, yes, that's a very special property. What's going on in Kula? She is very protected in her home. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to worry. She doesn't need to worry about earthquakes or anything. Mm -hmm. There's a a force field. Mm Mm-hmm. She already knows. She was sent that home by her grandmother and by Patty. That is where she's meant to be. Mm -hmm. She will die in that home. That is her home. Mm -hmm. It will protect her. 
So all of these nightmares she's been having. Well, what are those money, my, nightmares all about? That's her past. Mm-hmm. That's her past. So she, does she need to worry about no, that anymore? No. Mm-hmm. No more hood man. What is that hood man? He was an entity mm-hmm. that came, but he didn't implant anything. Mm-hmm. He gave her messages, things that she needed to know at the time. And she acted on them, whatever they were. I don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. And they were important. It wasn't ever anything bad. Mm -hmm. She thought it was bad. It wasn't bad. What about all these little people that were coming out of the outlets? That, I still don't know about Mm -hmm. that one. That was when she was little, Mm -hmm. at her grandmother's house. Yes, does she see... Things from different dimensions. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So she says that she was living in multiple haunted houses. Yep. 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 She was. That's very true. But since she moved to Kula, that's not going to ever happen again. Okay. It's leaving her alone now. Mm -hmm. And what about the voices that she hears at night? Yep. Done. Except when she goes back to Alaska, she's still going to have that. Okay. Is this one of her gifts to be able to connect with others in different dimensions yes Mm -hmm. it is a very strong gift of hers but she's afraid of it and what would you like to tell her about that i would tell her not to be afraid of it because it will help her Mm -hmm. and it will help her help others okay she just should not be afraid of it it's nothing is she's so protected Mm -hmm. so protected not even funny how protected she is. She's good. What are the faces that she sees in everything? Yep, those are the spirits. She sees them. Mm-hmm. Those are spirits that give her messages. She's usually so freaked out that she doesn't ever get to the message, but they come to her at certain times when she's trying to make a big decision. And she just needs to look in their eyes, and they will tell her the answer. Wonderful. Should she envision herself in red when this happens? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's even better. Yeah, that would be great. Wonderful. Yeah. She can put put a red light around the faces. Mm -hmm. She can do it easily. She can put a red light around the people. If the people start sucking her energy... Yes. She can surround them with red light now. Wonderful. And that red light will give them love and protect her from their energy. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. She, that's easy. She can do that easily. Good. No, no problem. So she asked about her past lives. Was there any other significant past life that had meaning to her? Or was she basically this little no fairy? She's a little fairy. Mm-hmm. How many lifetimes yeah. has she had here on Earth? I only see two. Mm-hmm. So why is she here now? What's important Let's about see. this one? Well, what's happening? She at this has point? a lot of gifts to share, mm-hmm. and. She can't do that when she's working so hard because she's too depleted. Mm -hmm. And if she cuts back on that, she's going to get a lot happier and then she's going to be able to share her gifts more. What will she be doing? And she's she's just going to be helping people. That's what she really wants. Good. She, she She loves a lot. She just want she love is perfect for her. Mm-hmm. She wants to help as many people as possible, and she will. She misses being a teacher. Mm-hmm. It's always going to be part of her. So she will continue to be a teacher. Yes, always, even though not in the classroom. She teaches in her own way. Mm-hmm. Well, you've told her she's a teacher, but what is she learning in this lifetime? What's the biggest lesson that she needs to learn? Not to worry. (laughs) 
That's mm-hmm. a hard lesson for her, though. Mm-hmm. She always tries to think of the worst case scenario so that she can prepare herself so that she she's a positive person, mm-hmm. but she doesn't like emergency situations. So she always tries to think of the worst case scenario, which so that if anything bad happens, she's prepared. But sometimes thinking that in advance brings on the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. She has to be more positive and not think of the worst case. Think of the best case and all the good stuff so that all the good stuff is with her, not the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, in talking about all that bad stuff, she was wondering what perhaps emotional blocks she has that could lead to disease and in what way she's hurting herself or others. Yeah. She's doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. She's her body is tired, but it gets energy. It's going to get energy now from red. Mm-hmm. But her body is tired because she's not really exercising is mm-hmm. a big one. Mm-hmm. She doesn't drink water, and she's. Not necessarily eating the right things. Mm -hmm. She needs to treat her body more like a temple, like you said. Mm -hmm. That's very true. And, but she's, she's not going to get a disease. She's good there. Mm -hmm. She's good there. It's good that she's not getting brain surgery. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need it. What's, she can, what's causing that? She in can her heal own? on her own. Let's take a look and see. Yeah. What's going on in her brain? So. What is this mass that we see there? She has several lesions mm-hmm. um, at the C1 level. Mm-hmm. And she was leaking spinal fluid out of her nose. Um, cerebral spinal fluid. So we know that the body always is giving us messages. Yep. Let's find out what the message is that she's getting Yep. from this. The message is that she can heal herself and it's not going to happen until she stops working so hard, has more fun, and cuts some of the stress out of her life because she doesn't need it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. She's She's set. She's set. Mm -hmm. So she needs to take a little bit of the advice that she puts out there? Yes. When she talks to people about having fun in Maui? Yes. About the places she She needs to take that advice on herself. Mm -hmm. And she needs to stop being so busy that she's not there for her loved ones. Her mm-hmm. best friend is here right now, mm-hmm. but she's so busy, but she just needs to stop that. Mm-hmm. So how can she make more time for herself she while just, she weans herself off of work? Well, she has to stop being such a perfectionist mm-hmm. for one mm-hmm. because her business is very successful and it's still going to be successful. She has to stop being obsessed with it. Mm-hmm. She needs to turn her phone off at night. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So when she goes to bed at night, put it on airplane mode? Yep. Mm -hmm. She needs to. Yeah, definitely. She needs to make time for herself. She needs more sleep. She's so tired right now. Mm -hmm. She's not sleeping because she worries too much about so many things. So can I ask for a guide on her behalf that will be specifically assigned to get her that rest and relaxation and fun that she needs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's going to happen. Now, she was asking about experiences, life experiences. Has she had any contact with a UFO? Yes, Mm -hmm. she She has. Can you tell her about that? She... receives messages telepathically. Mm -hmm. What are these messages about? 
what she needs to do. She has missions that she completes. Mm -hmm. Besides the mission of love? Besides the mission of love, this is still love. This is still good. Mm -hmm. And she receives those messages. And she has been on UFOs. Mm -hmm. What does she have to do with these star people, these other extraterrestrials? How was she associated with them? Well, let's see. I don't know, because it's doing that thing, it sucks it away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can think it, and then you're about to speak it, mm -hmm. but it like sucks it away before you can So let's find out why she's not being allowed to transmit this information. Yeah, I would like to know that one. Go ahead and cover the message in red. Oh, yeah, that helps. Well, it's making her forehead burn. Mm -hmm. What's well, going on with her forehead? I don't know. Just there's something. Mm -hmm. I think there might be something in her forehead. Okay, let's find out what it is. I'd like for you to hone in on her forehead. It's black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it needs to come out. Let's find out the source of that implant. Yep, there's one, right? I can show you where it is. Mm -hmm. It's right there. All right, let's find out right why she has that implant. Who planted that? They have planted it for her. Mm -hmm. They did when she lived on the UFO. For what purpose? They track her. Uh-huh, for what purpose? To make sure she's doing what they tell her to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that needs to come out. All right. Would you allow me to assist her with, with that? Red. Yep. All yep. right, so I'm going to take some shungite. Yep. And I'm going to put it over the area. Yep, that needs to come out. And I'd like now for the assistance yep. of all of those archangels yep. that assist me with this. And let's deactivate. Yep. Whoa. All right, so we're going to now put that yep. over her Thank you. implant. And just tell me what's happening as I... Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, it's coming out. It's still stuck, though. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I knew it. Are we I complete? A little more. Mm -hmm. A little more. Just to make sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We done? Yep. Very good. Thank so you. So I'd much. like now for Archangel Raphael, the healer, yeah. to come in and spread his beautiful green oh. light in there, his oh, healing yeah. light. And as he puts that in, surround it with an aura of red. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And allow now that red to start. Getting uh, closer and closer to the center. Oh, there's one more. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's in our wrist right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. It's right here. I'm going to go right ahead there. and put that shot oh, right. over it. And right let's, there. Let's yep. do the same thing. Oh, whoa. Let's deactivate oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh, there's one more. Mm -hmm. Tell I'll me when this one is gone. I will, one at a time. I knew it. Oh, thank you. The next one is really weird. Mm -hmm. The next one is right here. All it's right. on the outside edge. Wait, hold on. It's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Here oh, we go. yeah, right there. Yep, that's the last one. Red, 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 red. Mm -hmm. oh, looks like Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> red and green are yeah. both around. Thank you so much. Very good. Oh, that's so perfect. So now... Oh, uh, yes. Tell Tracy what that's, that's oh, doing to her now. Freeing. Mm -hmm. There's just a little left right up here. All right, let's continue. Just with not much. There's just a little. It moved a little to right there. That's going to help her brain, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so much better. And tell me when it's complete. Oh, it's going to take a minute. It's really it's deactivated. Oh, gosh, it's giving a headache. Just keep right there. Whoa, that was a big one. That's a big one. Oh, thank you. It's good. Very good. Red. 
Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, that was good. So she wanted to know how her future would look now that we have removed uh, these tracking implants. Perfect. Mm -hmm. She's got a bright future. Mm -hmm. She had a bright future before, too. Mm -hmm. The angels work overtime with her. They know she's very special. Who's working with her? Which angels? Well, right now, her biggest one, well, her grandmother is her biggest angel, really. Mm -hmm. Her grandmother just kind of tells everybody what she needs. Her grandmother knows more than anybody what she needs. Mm -hmm. But there's this one angel I'm trying to figure out her name. They're all women. There's no men around her. Mm. She has enough men with her brothers. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all women around her that are the angels. Um, I don't know the name of the one, but she's an older woman. Not as old as her grandmother. Small woman. Not somebody that she knows. It's not really telling me mm -hmm. her name. So I'd like to ask now if there's any other part of her body that we need to take care of today. Any other healing that we need. Oh. Do a scan and let's see if there's anything else attached to her, implanted in her. Nothing else? implanted, but she needs a little bit of work right now. All right. So I'd like for you let's now see. to open up her crown chakra and allow her to connect with the Christ light, the most brilliant white mm. source. And let's begin filling her body now. Yeah. I'd like for you to tell me what's happening with her body as she gets filled with this white light. It's fixing. It's just has to seep into everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Just tweaking a little here mm -hmm. and there. Her neck is bad though right now. Let's find out what she you. hurt her head when she was the well trying to break this. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and disconnect yeah. that feeling. Oh yeah. From the whale. In the red. Mm hmm Yeah. Let me know when you're done. Good. Good. It's good. Very good. That was good. Now, is there anything else? that I could have asked her today that I didn't, that you would like to tell her. She's more powerful than she realizes. Mm -hmm. And she needs to get, continue her path and more will be revealed to her in time. Very good. Any, any messages from her grandmother, from any others? Mm hmm. Her grandmother loves her, will always be with her, watches over her, who's not going to let anything happen to her. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a major event that turns her life upside down. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't worry. Mm -hmm. There's going to be little ups and downs, but she's, she's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have diseases or anything in her future. And what she's ab good. What about this new earth? Is she going to be a part of that? Yes, she is a part of it, definitely. Mm -hmm. Does she have to do anything She for does. She needs to meditate more, connect with her higher self more, mm -hmm. practice these colors now that she has this new tool. It's really going to serve her well. Wonderful. It's really going to serve her well. Is there anything else or are we complete today? We're good. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Wide awake now. Wide awake feeling wonderful all over. Whoa. Wow. I remember a little, but not a lot. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. It feels beautiful. Do you remember anything? Any of your... I was past? a will. You was a I whale? a will? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you were so I can remember that yeah. part because when I was a cheerleader I was the only one that couldn't jump high ah. <laughs> and I could never 
get up off the ground and you it was effortless <laughs> as a well. <laughs> Yeah, That's great. what I remember. Oh, Alba. Let me, let me uh, switch those with some shungite, so we need to ground you a little bit. And um, Wow. Yeah, you did great. How long has it been? How long did you feel it was? Just guess. Well, I know that your no, sessions just guess. are... Honestly, I would guess 45 minutes. We're on an hour and 42 minutes right now. Whoa, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Oh, I can't wait to watch the video. So how did it feel to be hypnotized? Distraction free. Wonderful. Is this something you, know, you want to share with others? I think I should. If there was parts of it that were good, yeah. Oh, cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what exactly happened, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever happened that's personal, yeah. we'll take that out. Yeah. It was good. Oh. All right. Well, we did it. We did it. We Thank did it. Thank you so oh. much. Thank you. So we're in Maui, Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so tell everybody how this felt. How, how was this for you? Well, my body is still completely vibrating. Uh -huh. um, I feel lighter. I feel um, full of love and light and yeah. energy and I feel so thankful and grateful for this experience I've I've never been hypnotized before <laughs> and um, did you think you were hypnotizable I didn't I thought I might be mm -hmm. I didn't really know what to expect mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, you know it obviously worked I still don't remember a lot. I'm excited to go home and, and check out what I said. And Do you remember anything about color experiences? Um, I remember red is very significant mm -hmm. for some reason. Okay, I, good. Well, everybody else knows. Yeah. <laughs> red is about your red. Red is your color, which is surprising. I would have thought it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> I never. That's okay. And mine well, is green. I believe that. Actually, yeah. I can see that. So I, I can totally see you. So that's green. why I have to be in green. And this okay. is this is something that happened. It was really interesting when we were in Sedona uh, just a little while ago. People asked me how I liked it, and I said, "I like it, but I like green." Yeah, <laughs> I need you to, are totally. I need green. to be in green. You are. You know, totally I need green. some green all the time. So yeah. this uh, was a really interesting session. Color was really important yeah. for you. Yeah. So how does your body feel? I feel like I could do anything right now. I feel pain free, which I am. I usually suffer. Um, I had a car accident with some injuries and pretty much am in chronic pain always with mm -hmm. my neck and my back and uh -huh. headaches. And right now I'm trying to memorize my feeling because I feel completely <laughs> pain free. That's great. And I haven't felt that in 12 years. Wow. So I'm kind of just trying to take it all. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but I'm um, just taking it all in. That's great. So do you recommend this experience oh, to others? I, if you are even considering it, mm -hmm. then you need to do it uh -huh. because it is life-changing. Um, sorry, I'm getting <laughs> emotional because I just, I really haven't been pain free for a long time. So it's, um, it's very nice. Um, if you're even considering being hypnotized, you definitely should do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like when I get home and listen to my tape, there's going to be some really important information oh, yeah. <laughs> that took place. I don't mm -hmm. really know what it is, um, at this time, but I have a bubbling excitement <laughs> inside of me. Um, knowing that it's for my higher good and yeah. for other people's higher good as well, because hopefully I can impart whatever mm -hmm. it is I learned um, yeah. as I continue on my path and my journey, I can impart that to others. So do you remember the whale? I remember that I was a whale, <laughs> which is so funny. And I remember what I remember most about the whale is that even though I was so huge, Mm -hmm. I was so light and yes. I could fly in the sky and I could jump and I could, there were other whales jumping over me and it w and I could do that as well. And it was fun. It was really fun and playful. And that's and what you need to be. It was joyful and it was effortless mm -hmm. to do those jumps, even being that big. It was great. It was so. great. And Tracy is the reason I am in Maui right now. So... Mm -hmm. 
you are responsible yeah. for bringing me here. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, a payback, you know? Well, I feel like Hawaii <laughs> is in your future. I do need to tell you that. And I feel like Hawaii in particular is in your future. Mm -hmm. Um, and I feel like I need to tell you that. Well, so we'll see. hopefully <laughs> we can get you back here. That'll um, be great. And it's a beautiful place. Time in Maui as well. Cause yes. they're both healing places. It is. I feel like I've, I've lost uh, 10 years just yeah. in this last week. Yeah. So it's really good. Really awesome. good. Thank you well, so much. Thank you. Thank Aloha. You. So if you, <laughs> if you want a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page, sign up for the newsletter. It comes out about once a month and it will tell you where I'm going to next and sign up fast. You'll be go. glad you did. <laughs> Seriously. Don't even think about it. Do it. Yeah. Do so it. thank you for watching and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you. Bye. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you.